squeaky chair, remember. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today the temperature has been in the upper 70s, but I actually put a sweater on because the air is not as humid, so it was a little bit chilly for me. My husband is dying from the heat and I'm finding it a little cold and I put a sweater on. Well, today I'm going to show you a little bit of Rhonda and her babies. I actually moved her from where she was because she was trying to teach them how to scratch, but where she decided to nest her babies was not in a good place. So I um, had, had a dog carrier that was um, up against her nesting box and gave room for her water and her food but she had moved off the nest into the into the box dog carrier so i i have a section in the in the enclosed run that has um chicken fence mesh stuff and so we blocked the bottom so the others couldn't get in there and the babies couldn't come out so that she could at least teach them how to scratch in real dirt and she's i think a lot happier in there I will show you that and also I'm going to show you because I've got a lot of comments when you saw my my grandkids roller skating and doing the scooter on the on the porch they also ride their little bikes on there and the little cars on there but I didn't do any of that but I've got a lot of comments on the house so I want to show you what the house looked like when we bought it in 1982 that's probably the only date I'll give you for this because I can't remember the dates of the other stuff. We moved here. It was Halloween weekend in 1982. It was, um, the house was, when I, when I bought it, the realtor, another realtor, not the one that sold it to me, said to my mother that we were buying a multitude of sins because this house really was very in very bad shape. You will see when you see the pictures, and it went from the very bad shape to the look to the look that I have today. We um, it took us over 15 years to try to just gut the inside because when we had to, I don't have pictures of the inside. I wish I really did. I only have one tiny little picture of um, Jim working on the inside. I did not think to take pictures, um, but. It took us over 15 years just to gut. We had to gut each room down to the outside wall, rewire, replumb, and put wallboard back up, and then insulate. paint and insulate, and then put wallboard back up and get the the house livable. The bathroom had looked like somebody had thrown a grenade in there. The toilet was laying on its side. The bathtub was in the middle of the way. They had stopped moving it out because the person that was moving it out. I guess before we bought the place, was trying to get it out of there and they dropped the tub. He lost his finger in the process. So the bathroom never got finished. Luckily, there was a half bath downstairs which had a toilet and a sink. Um, and upstairs there was, it was plaster everywhere, toilet laying on the side, tub in the middle of the floor. I don't even think there was a sink up there. I can't remember one anyways. Nope. And um, so we took for a month, we had to take sponge baths, which was not unusual because I grew up in a house where sponge baths were, were the typical way of bathing anyways. Um, I think in one of my videos I mentioned when we finally got a bathtub and a real bathroom, um, that was something that we had. But you know, when you have most of your life was was um, sponge bathing it just continued to kind of that way you still had to watch the water situation but here we had lots of water once the bathroom got in so I will show you the um, pictures of the house and then I will come back at the end to tell you what I need to tell you at the end I'll see you there so let's go what I don't want to say goodbye let's go look at the pictures
So all of you that are living in houses that you're not the happiest with at the moment, you can look at it as a project that in, if you have a vision of what you, what you want it to look like in the end, your vision will come true. It just takes time. It takes money, but it takes a lot of time. And if, you, if you're patient, you'll get there. Our house on the outside is a lot prettier than on the inside. The inside is basic. I really am not a decorator, so I am, um, like I said, it took me I don't know how long to hang the clock that's on the wall behind me. And the picture was, it took a long time for that picture to go there. And any of the things in the living room, I actually had a girl come to the house to say, you can hang something here because it had been probably years and nothing was on the wall. So if you've got the dream, your house will become the dream that you're hoping for. So I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.